Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. All right, let's see what we got for you right now. We have a classic, a world classic. This is a 143 scale, 1981 Ford Escort MK3GL. That's a long name. <laughs> MK3, I think is the the model, um, I think is what they mean is the third generation for Escort and GL is the model of the car. Uh, let's see if you see it there, it says GL one point something there. I couldn't see because it's going round and round and my vision do not go as fast as the speed of the tur the turning plate. But going back to this car, this is a 143 scale die cast made by Vitesse. Vitesse is great. They are really good. They're really detailed die cast. They're good. Really recommended. And they're not so, so, so expensive. You know, they're an average priced, but great quality. So it's a nice brand to collect. I really recommend. Really recommend. This is actually a British model. You can see it starting from there. The steering wheel, it's on the right hand side. British, Japanese, Indian, Pakistani. Australian they all drive on the other side of the road but the same day as the same car right they only move the steering wheel from one side to the other all right let's talk about this car look at the detail look at the tail lights you can even see the rear rear light everything is so detailed the the um, gasoline um, opening tank Look at the front, the grill, you can see the four emblem, the headlights. If I'm not mistaken, this is the British license plate. I'm almost certain. You can see the, um, the muffler there. And everything is so, so nicely done. Really, really cute car. You know, the trim, the black trim the, with the bumpers that started exactly where they started. You know, when you see this type of die cast, that's what you appreciate the most, the details. And that's one thing that I fell in love with the 143 scale, was their detail to their models from whatever brand. I'm talking about from the cheaper brands going to the most expensive brands. They put so much detail in their models that that's what really makes you collect more and more and more because you like them, you know. you The more you have, the more especially those classic cars like this one this is a 40 year old car they're classics already you know they 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 remind you from the younger years really great great quality i'm trying to see what one point something <laughs> i'm not sure it's 1.5 or 1.8 i'm gonna look and i'm not gonna give up until i see exactly what it says and if I give up, it's because I cannot see it. But let's check it out. Let's see one more time. It's actually 1.6, if I'm not mistaken. 1.6. These escorts were sold everywhere, except for America. America had their own model back in 1981. They actually also came out with their own Ford Escort, which was a nice looking car also. They came out with their own style. But for Escort in Europe, where it originally started, they came out since the 60s. So they've been out there. They've been out there. You know, unfortunately, the Escort um, model, for model, it's no longer made. They replaced it first with the Focus. Uh, then... Focus. <laughs> the Focus was actually the one that replaced it. There was no after Focus. The Focus actually no longer sold in America, in North America. I'm not sure in Europe if they still still sell them. If you know, let me know. I would like to know that. And 
you know these are classics and especially this model this is a classic worldwide you still see them in in Latin America especially South America you still see them on the road not as much as before but you still see them on the road you know but it was a good looking good looking car now this model right here that yep there was a third generation like I mentioned before this third generation came out between 1980 and 1986 so they had about a, a six year run quite an average nice run and they sold very very well all right guys so i'm gonna let it go around a few times so you can have a nice look at this car All right, guys. So, as I usually say this at the end of the videos, if you have if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> now, I'm kindly asking you if you're enjoying, please subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button, and it will remind you when I'm posting more videos. And also, please give me a nice thumbs up. You know, I would really appreciate that. It gives me the impression that you're enjoying these videos, which I enjoy making them. And going to the questions that we always ask, that I always ask at the end. Do you still see them on the roads? Have you ever drew one of these? Do you collect die casts like I do? These are questions for you, to me. Com comments in the box. Let me know what you guys think. And if you still see them on the roads, hopefully they're in good condition. Because, you know, 40-year-old car, if you don't take care of them, they're not going to last forever. But these are cute cars. You know, now they're, they turn out to be classics. So, take care of them. If you see them on the roads and you enjoy them, buy them. But not to beat them around. Buy them to enjoy them. You know? Or at least let someone that takes care of them in real life keep them. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.